Uh, hey guys, um, I was originally going to make this vlog number three to detail about my channel and that I was completing maintenance. Me, excuse me, I, that I completed maintenance on my channel finally and I'm going to start recording some new stuff. But as I was browsing YouTube, which I do all the time on my iPad, I ran into a rather awful situation regarding another famous YouTuber, you probably know him, Markiplier, aka Mark Fishbuck. I'm not sure if I was blasting correctly, but anyway, it's not important. Apparently, he suffered a very devastating tragedy involving his one of his relatives. I don't want to go into detail about it because. I don't know him, I don't. I never met him, I just know of him, and he's been a big mentor to me, and becoming a YouTuber. I don't want to go into details about what exactly happened, but let me just say that I feel really, really, really bad about it, as I'm sure most people do who like him, him or his work or whatever. Because I have a niece. I have an older sister who's married to a woman, and she gave, my sister gave birth to my niece, through a sperm donor, and she's less than two years old, guys. Her name is Grace, and if anything ever happened to her, be it death or an injury, I would feel completely and utterly devastated. I can only imagine how much pain he's in right now. He said it was his niece, and we'll just leave it at that. He did say that she was confirmed dead, and I don't know any of the circumstances involved, but it makes me feel like that really hits close to home for me. Because I have these too, and I'm also on YouTube. Not that the second part is broke with everything, but yeah, I can't even fathom something happening in Grace, let alone death or injury, but I just feel so bad for Mark right now. I saw it in an update, it was a video of his child update with half in my recommended videos. I looked at it and I was like, shh, quit in shock. I just can't believe something like this would happen. I mean, you hear bad things happen all the time to people in the news and whatever. That's why you usually don't read the try to avoid reading the paper, even though I do read it every day. And you just hear these terrible stories. You always hope that these things don't happen to you, but sometimes they do, and when they do, you're just completely unprepared for it. So yeah, I want to dedicate this blog in particular to Mark, because but people like him and Sean and Felix and all the other good people on YouTube who make gaming videos. And once we're done, I want to make my own channel. I didn't even know video commentary was the thing until I found Mark doing Five Nights at Freddy's videos. And that's how I gave him my own shot. So yeah, this is really a devastating thing to happen to him and I just wanted to... I don't know if you're ever going to see this, and you probably never going to even see this video, but I want you to send my condolences and I want everyone to keep um, him in their thoughts and prayers for the upcoming future because he's going to go through a very tough time from here on out. I just know it because definitely with a young relative, that never goes away. I should know because my adopted parents lost their son who was two years old to neuroblastoma. That was before I was born. I never met my brother. I don't know him. Yeah, I never met him. So I can't say anything good or bad about him, but... No, pain within a child. How do you go on with that? I have no idea how I felt. I mean, the end of the game divorced, of course, but that's not the point. The point is that it's a terrible tragedy for anyone to lose a child or a or any relative at any point. I just want you guys to pray for him. Pray for Mark. And I don't know, even though this doesn't affect me personally, I still feel really terrible about it. But again, he was a huge mentor of me to, to make my own channel, and there's nothing else to say. And Mark, if you see it today, just know that I really feel awful, and I hope you'll get through this dark time. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. I'm probably going to title this stream dedicated to Mark. And that's it. I'm not going to take, take any more time out of this to talk about myself or anything. I always do that in every video. And thank you for watching.